In this video, we're going to focus on how we can convert our dates into a day, month, year, and then we have the time of hours, minutes, and seconds. So you can see here we have all these dates like these with different segments here, but the bottom segment on the scale will show it like this nicely. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add a date format of the day, month, year, and then you have the time, hours, minutes, and seconds in a time scale in Chart.js. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is we go to chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, make sure you get the boiler template, which is here, copy this, and if you want to understand what the boiler template does or how it does it, watch this video here. So then, paste in, cut out this item and put that in here. Save, refresh. All right, let's maximize the chart size. We want to say here, 80% save. There we are. All right, so now we have this. What I want to do now quickly is to add up the time scale objects. What is the adapter? So how do you do that? Just go to chartjs.org, click here on ecosystem. And once you're on here, scroll down and look for adapters. There we are, click on this. Then we'll jump immediately to the specific section here. Don't use moment.js, it's been deprecated and they're not updating it anymore. I'm going to use this one, datefns, because it only requires one JavaScript file, while Luxon needs two JavaScript files. So I guess you want JavaScript files, fine. So I click on the date adapter fns, and then you can see here this specific file here, which is called the chart the chart.js adapter datefns bundle minimize file. Get that one. And then we make sure that that one will load after the chart.js library. So we make sure that this one is here afterwards. If I save that, refresh, nothing happens here. So what I want to do now is to start putting in here some objects here. And I got this very specific date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with that. So what I'm going to say here, first of all, I'm going to create a new date, which is basically a date object because chart.js needs or these not chart yet, but JavaScript you need to make sure that the date is on a string, but it's really a date object. So we're going to say, so we're going to say now in JavaScript, new date, and then we're going to say here, this was the specific date that was being uh, used as example. So we have this here, and then there was still a specific time. So we're going to say it dot set hours to control the time so you can see it will be a breakdown based of this and the hour set here so this requires always four values the hours the minutes and basically you can say here hours minutes and then we have the seconds and milliseconds and in this case we already have the hours minutes and the second although the milliseconds can be just put on zero doesn't matter in this case so we're going to say here for the hours it's 12 45 in the afternoon and then 20 seconds, for example. That was the example. So what I want to do here, just for the sake of it, I want to copy this, put a comma, a comma, a comma. So we have multiple dates, but I will make sure that the dates will be one day difference all the time. Zero 01, say here for September 1, and finally 02 for September number 2, or the 2nd of September. So we can save this, and we only have four values now, so that's fine, save, refresh. Now you can see here, this is becoming a millisecond. So it does recognize it, but it's in milliseconds. But here's a problem. It's still not officially recognized because the date adapter while being added has not been activated. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate that in the scale. We're going to pinpoint it on the X scale because it's basically here at the bottom of the X scale. So we're going to say here, this scale type will be now a time object or time. So this time object is now being Recognize. So we can say here now time, and then in here we can say here unit day, and this will indicate that we will show only the day. But of course, look at this. I don't want this. What I want to show was just as I indicated, I want the day, month, year, and afterwards I also want to have the seconds or the hours, maybe minutes and seconds. So what we're going to do here, we put in another comma. But this day is very important as a unit, and then we're going to say here the day object, but we say, hold on, we don't want to show it as the default function, we want to have our own option here. So how we do this, oh, I'm almost getting ahead of myself, sorry. What we're going to say here, 
display format format that in here the day we say hold on we want to change it in the way we want to to display it so we're going to say here the display format will be delta delta small characters not large characters triple m large characters small yankee or the y for the year and then we're going to say here hours colon minutes colon seconds and if i'm not mistaken it should be here maybe a dash to show it like that so if we save this this is like a european structure of timing refresh there we are we have one september here and i think we probably could even fine tune it by doing it like this if i do this and refresh we remove the zeros as well so those are options that you can show if i save it like that there we are absolutely phenomenal and you can see here of course the time will be always based on a segment of or the time segment which is the day itself so that's why it's like this and it will not be exactly on 12:45, but the bar is pinpointed on 12:45. so this is very important to understand and that's basically how you control the time structure in chart.js so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you might say well hold on i get my data from a database and not what how we did it here where we just have it quickly written very simply well if you want to know how you get your dates from your database and making sure that javascript can read them in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to parse dates from php mysql database to javascript to charges which is a very useful video as well to understand if you have a lot of dates in your database